I feel like we are we're supposed to be paired together. I don't think that's true. It's not it's not enough men to women in the world for us to be paired together. I don't make no mistake, right? But wait, but not everybody wants to be in a relationship. And, and that's people, too. So exactly. many people that are asexual, like, and don't even want another partner. They're not right. gay. They're not straight. They're not nothing. They don't want nobody. <laughs> They'll just die here. alone. And <laughs> like, I'm just here. So, I mean, once you take them out the equation, maybe it is somebody for everybody, you know? I still and don't I, think, I still don't think so, but okay, maybe we can go well, with that. So my opinion on it is um, because I'm, I'm pretty... I have a traditionalist thread, but I feel like I approached my relationships from a non-traditionalist standpoint. So I, my very first like serious relationship, I was with this, this girl in college, right? And we were exclusive, we were boyfriend, girlfriend. And then I was, uh, at that time I was trying to, you know, make my mark on the world. I was trying to make my mark on the campus. I wanted to be in organizations and do this, that, the other thing and set myself up for what my future looked like. And then, you know, a relationship was also a part of that. So I was involved in all these extracurriculars. And then at the end of the day, I wanted to spend time with, you know, my significant other. And then it got to a point where she wasn't doing the same thing at the same ferocity that I was. And then she was like, yeah, I just feel like I'm another thing on your list of things to do for the day. And I said, oh, hold the phone here now. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know I'm busting my ass to come back to your dorm to take naps with your ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and you're yeah, taking no naps out here in these streets, Junie. You know <laughs> listen, listen, I, I, I was speak for far too long. Bro. <laughs>